my pants are off. It's time for it's time for a blast from the past. Welcome back to the Super Nintendo age of like when Capcom games were good. <laughs> you know, like back in that age of when Heritage for the Future yes, was just about to come out. The actual uh, Mega Man games I want uh, rebooted. I don't care much for classic. <laughs> yeah, I, I I like X much better than well. I like X1 better than usually every other Mega Man games. This is Mega Man X1 Same. on uh, the Mega Man X Legacy Collection, which only came out yesterday. And I kind of <laughs> went out of my way just to record it through a first playthrough. Oh, uh, man, I... you got you to gotta get in on those YouTube analytics. <laughs> analytics. I mean, yeah. Got to get, gotta get like, all the, the views. I, I kind of also cheated on the way when I, when I got it on the way home. I kind of searched, like, all right, what's the... Uh, one of the trophies for X1 just to get it out in one go, and uh, I think I got all of them. I think I'm, I could be wrong, but whatever. Uh, the X Legacy Collection. I'll talk about it in later parts. It's a. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all right, I guess. Doctor Wiley, that sounds. Doctor White, it's a feature. <laughs> no. <laughs> DVNC is not. Re a remember, the whole reason why X is different is because he has feelings. Yep. You know, wait, and then wait, Zero gets Wait a minute. Later. So all the other robots have thought, but they don't have feelings. Apparently. Yes. He has that, the ability. He has true. the ability. That's, he has the ability to choose. That's dangerous, actually. Very dangerous. <laughs> Well, the thing, well, like, if you're reading, like, the first law of robotics, a robot must not harm another human. Well, robots that can think don't feel lead to, like, kill them all. Why? Because they're destroying something. But they're people. I don't care. <laughs> well, they're not real people. Yeah. Oh, I love the start menu music. Oh, I, fu I, I fucking love Mega Man X. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, Mega Man X. Like the and you're trying to make it look cool, but then I just realized, oh fuck, uh, <laughs> I forgot how quickly it just goes to the. Yeah, and I do love how it just goes straight into just combat. No, yeah. no intro cutscene either. Well, then you play, then you play the Maverick Hunter X, which everything has a cutscene. Uh yeah, and also the fact there's dialogue between the robot masters too. I mean, I'm okay with that, because they kind of added that for in X4. Honestly, the honestly the thing that like threw me off the most with Maverick Hunter X was that was they actually changed the placement of uh, robot of like the rope the, of par the, uh, the parts right pieces. Yeah. yeah. So the leg upgrade isn't in Chill Penguin stage. It's anymore. in Flame Mammoths, uh, while Chill Penguin has the head upgrade, uh, the chest upgrades yeah. in. Um... I actually hate the PSP version because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think they. I think there is a classic mode or something. We were, no, there is not. Mega Man, Mega Man recording. powered up has a classic I played, mode. I played a shitload of this back in the day at my grandma's. <laughs> oh, dude. So, I have so, this know, on here. Comes along the PSP version. It's like, all right, should be over here. It's not here. I was actually thought they took away upgrades. It wasn't until years <laughs> later when I watched somebody else's playthrough. It's like, no, they just moved them. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, uh, my first playthrough through Maverick Hunter X, I kind of just beat the game without. I, with, I managed to beat the game with the uh, with the. E with the heart pieces and um, any tanks, just no fucking power up, other than the the buster we get at the end, which I don't. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it because it may be an old game, but hey, people are reliving this game for the first I've time in, in a while. I've never played through it, so that's actually very very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never touched a Mega Man game in my life. Honestly, just if you if you're interested, just just go with X. If you're if you're asking why I'm getting gang banged right here, it's for uh, speedrun <laughs> re reasons. Yeah. Take the damage, just keep damage going. Same time. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. And now I'm right Mega Man X uh, is just a, is just better than the original series. Well, some games like Mega Man Two is still is still fun. I would say X One is probably the best paced Mega Man game. Mhm. Mm it's definitely it's definitely the be the best of the series. But I, I I told Fonzie about it. I'm I'm more of a personal fan of X Three, but that's just. Because I, I have a lot of weird memories of that game compared to X1. Speaking of X3, uh, that game is still over like 300 bucks. Oh yeah, it's still Jeez. one of the most expensive. It, it's one of the most expensive Super yeah, Nintendo X, games. Yeah, if you if there. you go on eBay right now, you'll see copies of X3 going up in price. Hopefully, thanks to this, they'll probably dive down, but I don't think they'll ever break under 200 or 150. Hell no. Because the, because they um, it, it's kind of like why. 
Uh, All right, Mario so Kart. if you're wondering why Boba Fett's here, uh... Yeah, he's yeah. here. No, no, Vile, my, my original character. What do you mean, Vava? Yeah. Huh? There, there, there's a trophy called uh, his name is Vava. It's where you beat the jet, uh, where you beat both the English first stage and the Japanese first stage. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. And then of course Zero comes in, which yeah, Zero was supposed to actually be the main character, but then it's like nah, we're just gonna make the make make. Well, X. he was years later on the DS games that nobody remembers. That, the Zero the, games Zero series are, are good. The Zero, the Zero games are really fucking difficult, but they're good. Mm -hmm. Like zero, like zero one, I struggled like playing oh, through that. He got very slender, somehow more effeminate. And <laughs> well, okay, that's actually explained. I think that it's that not that's actually not... zero, or it's like zero it's after he's repaired himself a hundred years it, later. So I don't know. It is, it is the original thoughts of zero, but it's not the original body of zero. Yeah. Hey, can I ask a legitimate question? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, when did this come out? 1990, uh, was it was in the fucking intro. 1993 on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Okay, did you notice that at the same time he was the mess, the sprite was blinking, the actual like portrait was blinking too. Fucking uh, amazingness at a Super Nintendo. And here we begin that's... with the with probably one of my favorite characters, uh, Chili Willy. I mean, Chill Penguin. <laughs> when I was Wait, a kid, I used to call I used to call him Chili Willy. <laughs> I See, mean, I know about all. I know like all about the Mega Man and X boxes from the uh, from jokes and Dorkly. Okay. Oh, oh Dork Dorkly yeah. is great. The Dorkly Dorkly comics. I still get a laugh out of a good chunk of them, and I and I still every once. By the way, those rabbits Pokemon do way too much damage than they should. Fuck yes, they they shoot these projectiles and they're just a pain in the ass to deal with. And nothing. Uh, yeah. All right. So that was uh that was a hitbox. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was a hitbox. Like, I mean, nothing will ever beat Ra the Rathalos in the Freedom series. And the the awful hitboxes. You can't hit me. But I can hit you from like two feet away. Yeah. Man, the Rathalos is on the other side of the map. Why did I take damage? <laughs> so. So. Uh, you and my cousins were bad, so we'd. We'd, uh, we'd spin that area right there where there's like four or five bats and farm that for hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, that's it. The best place to farm in this game is Armored Armadillo, which you'll see later because uh, I go, I kind of go out of my way to get 100% of this. So you'll see that the jump. you'll see the special weapon later. Also, yeah, that, that jump, jump that jumps a pain in the ass. ass. Like, without the leg upgrades, for some reason, it's just enough distance where you can fuck up. Yeah. And, yeah, anyway, this, so this you've death. come. Okay. No, X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is Doctor Thomas Light. He dead, but he's not dead anymore for some reason. He's now a hologram that's kind of sentient, but not really, but kind of is. Oh. So for some reason, me and my cousins thought that if you sat there and charged and then get on the upgrade, it made the upgrade better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There is there's a glitch you can do. No, it's not. I don't think it's a real thing. No, no, no. It's, it's like down, a, down A and B on Pokemon. Yeah. There actually is there actually is a glitch in this game. Uh, dash shoots. Uh, dash yeah, they're, they're, they dash shoots are double damage if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah. They do twice the amount of damage. Uh, but there's a glitch where if you hold down the uh, if you hold down the Buster and then jump onto a pad, he'll shoot the shot and then show off what the upgrade does. Yep. Uh, Alright, and now nice. and, and now we actually get to like fast movement. Mm -hmm. what Those are actually the did not know that about dash shots. I they wish are. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, uh, dash shots make bosses like Storm Eagle a lot easier because uh, in in the route I take, uh, you're, you're supposed to fight Storm Eagle after Sting Chameleon because he's weak to Sting Chameleon's weapon. Well, so, in reality, uh, he, Storm Eagle is surprisingly easy. In this, like, he's actually pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we went from Mega Man to Tron Bond on the PS1. Pretty much. Yeah. What? Tron what? Tron, Tron Bond. Bond. The misadventure of Tron Bond. She doesn't exist anymore. She doesn't exist. Yeah. She's in Marvel vs. Capcom. Capcom says she doesn't exist. <laughs> to be fair, neither does Mega Man Legends. They self-serve all plushies, and I want one. Mm -hmm. I played Original Legends 1, like, the 
64 version, which I guess isn't a very good version. It's the same. It's just same version. Just I think. Uh, I think the controls are wonkier because they don't have an extra yeah. stick or something. Yeah. All right, first Maverick, Chili Will. Chill Penguin. He is. He can actually. He does actual pretty. He actually is pretty for. Uh, I wouldn't say forgiving because like he actually hurts pretty pretty badly. But yeah, I think he. I ferocious. Yeah. He, he. His um. If you can get in a good pattern, he's fairly easy. But yeah, as you see there, you actually. Oh, dude. He does do actually quite a bit of damage. A lot of health. Yeah. There's a, there's a pattern where he'll just do nothing but do the belly slide. And he's invincible that whole time, yeah. by the way. In Buster, in Buster we, we trust. trust. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just say in Buster we trust. How, how can you not get that achievement? I'm assuming it's clear a boss using only the only X Buster, yeah. So it's just pretty much like beat you your have first boss. Yeah, it's pretty much just beat your first Maverick. <laughs> yeah. So. Alright, this but, is a game beat. This is a baby game now. This is a baby game. But yeah, shotgun ice. Fairly good weapon. It, its charge up is a lot more. It, its charge mode is a lot better than just the normal attack. Besides, obviously, fighting Spark Mandrel, mm -hmm. which oh, and the and the password, yeah. and the all well, the pass number thing. And Wait, but you still have a save feature. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a save feature. All right. Okay. We'll see wow. you in part two. Yeah.